what's up yo 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 everybody and welcome back if you want to say okay we're going to jump right into it and moisturize our lips watching. using the soap and glory mighty mouth lip balm this is just going to hydrate and prepare the lips for later now we're going to take some sticky tape going to dispense about an inch worth put it on the back of your hand to take away some of the tackiness so that it does not pull at the eye area when you take it off now we're going to line it up with the lower lash line this is going to be like an extension of the lower lash line and it's going to help to get a nice crisp line for later make sure it's in place stuck really good and flat now going in with a shadow primer this is the rimmel exaggerate shadow primer going to dab a little bit on each eyelid and then blend it out really well and next we're going to prep the brow bone area with mac Pennerly paint pot and this is just going from the crease up to the brow not on the actual lid area for the lid we'll be using a Rimmel eyeshadow stick in witness white this is just going to make the colors pop and more vibrant later you don't want to put too much on but you want to get just enough dab a little on each eyelid then blend it out and make sure you blend it well so that there are no thick spots and blend it up into the painterly that we applied to the brow bone and now taking the wet n wild naked truth palette and a nice skin tone color going to use that on the brow bone over where we put the painterly next going into the wet n wild poster child palette using a light pink and knocking off any excess from the brush this is going to be our transition color today and going in with a little darker pink color just to deepen up that crease a little bit and dab a little bit on the inner corner and now we're going in with the blue from the palette the lighter of the blues and it looks like it wasn't deep enough so I'm going to mix it with the darker blue in the palette as well make sure to tap off any excess and we're just going to dab that all over the lid and keep building up until you get the desired intensity with the cheaper eyeshadows it may take a little more time a little more building to get the color payoff that you want and now going in with the blue Hadmit Hello Wet n Wild palette using a darker blue. This is going to be the outer V color. On a fluffy brush, I'm just going to start blending that into the outer V and through the crease. And make sure you start with a little. It's easier to build up than it is to take away. Now going in with black from the palette. going to use this black just to deepen the crease even more and just be sure you work that in and blend it in with the blue that we already have in place now going in with the lighter pink and darker pink on a clean blending brush I'm going to use this just to re-deepen or re-intensify the brow bone transition going back in with the first palette and that nude color on the same brush as before and just going over the brow bone once more to blend everything out really well and now you're just going to go in and reapply and intensify the colors as needed here i am reapplying the blue shadow and going back in with the black again blending it into the crease and now it's time to take off the tape and voila you have a nice crisp line this is also a very easy way to get winged eyeliner 
Now take a makeup wipe and clean up any fallout or excess on the under eye area. This is why we did the eyes first instead of the foundation. And through the magic of editing, I now have my foundation and brows done. Going in with a pointy blending brush and the pink tones. Going to blend that into the inner corner up through the crease. Going in with the lightest pink shade and blending that along the lower lash line. And now taking that same brush and a silvery white shimmer color. This is going to be the inner corner highlight. Using the same brush again going into the lighter blue color. And that is just going to be blended along the lower lash line. And make sure you blend this really well and blend it all the way out to the V taking the deepest tone blue and mixing it with some black going to marry the corner of the eye on the bottom with the upper and then taking a clean blending brush and blending everything out no harsh lines and do any cleanup with your concealer if needed and now for eyeliner I think I'll go with the white eyeliner today and I'm just going to put this in my lower waterline. You can use a black or blue liner if you'd like. Today I chose to use a white. This will just open the eyes up a bit more. And make sure you don't poke yourself in the eye when you do this. And now just to run a little bit of eyeliner along the lash line, I'm using the Jessie's Girl Black Eyeliner. Not really going for a wing or a flick, just a small line. And now to add a few coats of mascara, doing the bottom lashes first. And then we will move on to the upper lashes. Start from root and go to tip. Apply a couple of coats if needed or desired. And now to finish the face, going in with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer on a fluffy brush. And just going to warm up my complexion a little bit. Now that I'm a bit more fair, this bronzer is a little too intense, but we'll make it work. Now to add some blush, I'll be using Max Cubic. This is a Nice kind of understated blush that won't draw too much attention, but gives a nice pop of color. And for a little highlight, using the Rose Champagne Glow from Wet n Wild. Putting that on the cheekbones, just kind of working that in a little bit. A little on the brow bone. Going to do some down the center of the nose, the cupid's bow, and just a little on the chin. Now for lip liner, using the Rimmel Lip Liner in Natural. And dance into the music in the background here. You just want to line and fill in your lips with this lip liner. Since there's so much going on on the eyes, I chose to keep the lips kind of neutral. And for lipstick, I'll be using the Rimmel Lipstick in Kate number 14. You can apply this straight from the tube, or you can use a brush, whichever you prefer. And we're almost done. <laughs> and now for a little setting spray. You want to spray a generous amount and fan it to kind of dry it a little quicker. And this will be the end of the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.